Hi there. I had promised to do a tutorial on doing a string pull, so here we are. Um, today I'm going to do Tuscan Red from Deco Art, Bright Pink from Folk Art, and I'm just, I picked out a metallic, so I have a pink gold from Lumiere. And for my base coat, I mix, um, titanium white and Floetrol. I also use that for paint pouring. Um, so it's probably about 30% Floetrol and 60% paint. Um, so it's kind of the consistency of, um, say warm honey, but it's not scientific. It's Kind of an eyeball method and whatever you you get used to so part of it's whatever you're comfortable with um and i'll show you a practice piece whoops sorry about that i had done last night um when i was playing around so <clears throat> let's see i'll move these over um so i'm gonna and i also need where'd my string go red go uh, um, I recommend using um, natural fiber, so something absorbent, because this is a smaller stone. I am using 30-weight uh, cotton. If you were using a giant stone, I'd probably use, like, yarn. Um, but uh, I'm using thread, because I'm the queen of tiny rocks. So these are just off to the side. I'm going to make some little puddles of paint. You can use gloves. I'm going to live wild and not put gloves on. So, trying not to obscure my video field here. Just so some little dots of paint right out of the container here. It's just playing around. It's not overly scientific. This one, I got to squeeze harder because there's not as much paint left in here. You could have more colors, you know, it's just, but I figured, you know, it's getting close to Valentine's Day, so I can uh, leave this one out at my local ferry door. I'll probably I'll have enough to do another one of these afterwards or um, <clears throat> maybe do a ball chain a second video with a ball chain pull so I like to mix mine in a bottle um, if I haven't used it then you know shake it up really good um, I kind of <clears throat> want to I like to make sure my ends or edges are coated and then fill in the uh, top. It's just how I roll. Everybody's different. All right, there. So it's kind of like, I don't know, loose. Um, probably what would be, um, I don't eat uh, regular yogurt. I eat Greek yogurt, but um, kind of like regular, the consistency of yogurt. So, coat your rock. I don't really need any more than that on there because I'm going to spread it out a little bit. We're using my popsicle sticks. I enjoyed that outshine bar before, so a little uh, cold to be enjoying them again, but I can hardly wait till summer. Yeah, or at least spring. Popsicle weather. So just a little coat, because you've got to have something for the paint to slide through. Um, not so much with the string pull per se, but some of them where you're looping the strings. I keep a, I will I keep a pipette handy because <clears throat> you might need to suck off extra paint if it pools. I don't expect that to happen now. So then you, yep, still in. 
you lay your string down. I got my handy dandy toothpicks here. I also have a towel in my lap. And paper towels to the side here. I'm going to poke down the red ones first so I don't completely muddle all my colors to start with. Oh, maybe I'll try and be tidy. Whoops. Gold. Then my pink. The idea is for using the natural fibers, you want something that's going to absorb the paint. <clears throat> and my personal experience is I tried it with like rayon thread. So then you go back up to lay it back down because you need more thread coated. And I'm just going to triple this here. Um, if you use rayon, it doesn't really absorb the paint. And the whole point is you want the paint on the thread. So, because then you want it to embed in the pool of white there. So, concentrating, it's like holding your breath and putting your tongue in the right position, so. All right. And then you lift it up. All the way. Try not to get in the camera with this. And then you want to just start this. I could have used a toothpick. I have my little pink tool from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure this was the intended purpose of it, but hey, I like to walk through there and say, what else can I use this for? You can lay these any way you want. And then at the end, you bring it down the middle like this. There. And you let it sit there for a sec. You can see the paint starting to bleed through. I'm wiping this off on my lap, but there is a towel and a paper towel on my lap, so I'm not just wiping this on my pants. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to pull it straight down, or as close to straight as I can. And it's no rush, and pull it slow. And I'm just lifting it up so that I don't get any extra tails in there. Now, if there's something else I wanted, <clears throat> if, now I, I like the way that looks, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is. <clears throat> but if there was like a space or, you know, gaps in the bottom, then I would um, either get another string or I might wipe this one off and dip it again and lay it down and pull it again. But I'm really liking the way that one turned out. Here, let's bring it in closer here. There we go. So there. I also keep like a, <clears throat> a paintbrush handy in case, you know, I needed extra paint around the edges or something Then I can dab that on as well so all right that's the string pull um i'll see if i can find a bigger rock for a ball chain i also so last night i was playing around and did i better move this one out of the way because i like it i'd like to keep it and i'm great for liking something and then touching it and then i'm sorry later so I did this one last night. So string pull. Same same paint colors, just but this one was a 40 weight thread, but the rock is a little wider 
than the one I just did. And this one, I was messing around trying to make a heart, which was several poles to kind of get the feathery heart effect there. So we did that. But before I did those, I also recommend there's no reason you can't Make paint puddles on a piece of parchment and practice before you go live on a rock. I mean, here's my, you know, paint puddles to the side, leftover string, but I did, again, puddles on the side. So you can, I mean, there's my, like, practice hearts, practice pulls, you know, and then I did swirls with a toothpick trying to decide, well, do I want to do that if I don't like the way... You know, it worked out with the thread. So, you know, you have choices. So, okay, one down.